Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to AKM channel. My name is Anup. And as I promised in my last video, I am going to take uh, I'm going to do an experiment on using my speed light which I, uh, which I purchased last week. So here is my settings. I created a small house for my uh, product. So it's basically I'm going to take a you know product uh, picture shot and let's see how it going to how it's going to happen. So this is my settings. I just build a small, uh, you know, like a dog house with a background of a white shade, and I I, I place my flash on top of it, and uh, it should diffuse the light through the paper into the dark space where I keep my product, and it will give me a good shade. So let's see how we get the pictures. So my settings will be always ISO at hundred. So these are some of the products that I try to use but unfortunately the space is insufficient to put these product so I need to find a smaller item. Uh, I tried to fix this item inside but it's not happening so let me find a better item which is smaller. Okay so here I have a small uh, sanitization spray and I will take some snaps of it. And we'll I will see the result what is going to happen so uh, the basic camera settings is uh, you know you have to keep your ISO at uh, 100 so you're using your flash so you don't need your ISO settings high and the aperture mode I put in 4 and the shutter speed is limited to approximately 50 because I'm using a 50 mm lens when you're using a lens which is uh, 50 mm for example for Nikon you need to multiply it by 1.5 and that will be that should be your shutter speed so here you can see the pictures of uh, the product I have taken. It's, I think it's pretty clear, and we will review it now in, in my computer. So now I am switching my item. I'm going to spray it with my sanitizer uh, to get uh, some water drops on it. Sometimes my camera is not getting connected to the flash. It's, it's losing its connection every time I take my picture I need to you know make sure the connection from the wireless is uh, Okay with the flash. I Don't know if there is any other settings which I need to check to you know maintain the uh, Flashlight so here I wanted to have uh, the you know the white shade. I need a different type of color so I need a different type of color so what I'm trying to do is I'm using my uh, trash bag which is blue and I'm going to diffuse my light through this blue uh, cover so that I will get a blue shade so let me see how how the image comes out with this so there is kind of a blue shade I, now we will go to the post processing stage And you can see my pictures this is the blue shade that I have taken the last picture and this picture came out pretty nice when I'm using my Nikon software to edit my uh, pictures the this software is very slow uh, it takes too much time for processing the image like the zooming the picture quality is good but it's appear blurred and you can see on the right bottom corner it's still you know uh, rotating processing the image and everything but I don't know why it's taking too much time to do that 
so I basically don't prefer to use uh, this Nikon capture because it's take too much time and it's actually wasting my time I have other jobs to do and I don't want to waste my time in using the software I even try to reduce what are the applications that I'm using in my laptop so that I get a better memory to uh, work on this editing software maybe I need to upgrade my memory in my laptop but still I have a good configuration so here I'm using my Lightroom which I prefer which is good fast processing and everything so uh, let's see and review the images in Lightroom so first I'm going to import all my pictures which I have taken here they are so I have taken these pictures yesterday which is 21st of August 2020 and here are some of the images the first shot was uh, absolute failure because I used my uh, you know shutter speed uh, the lighting everything very high so it was it captured the high light so it came it came completely white so now let me go to the developer mode you can see this highlight since the, the light source is from the top you can see this highlights on you know the shades and everything but this picture did not come in focus I don't know why we got an overexposed picture here we have an underexposed picture here because the camera flash did not work so I am going to delete it and here are some of the pictures which is good here I, I should have cleaned the bottle before taking this picture I have some you know dirt on the cap so the focus is getting good and everything so here it is so the pictures are getting better one by one one by one it's getting better so this is a picture I try to take for my watch but unfortunately the dial is not revealed because it's an LCD you know watch and the LCD display is not coming right that was not a successful object that I placed ok now that I'm using my soda can so you can see the picture quality the water drops are absolutely good and stunning and I get a good shade on the background and everything and it's perfectly looking good in further experiments and everything I can uh, improve this quality of image the shades the, the highlights we can control the highlights okay so here you can see the shadows and the picture is perfectly fine I, and I was using this I was hand holding my camera when I take these pictures so a slight change in uh, the positioning of the flash gives you a different kind of shades you can see here the shades highlights are on top even the water drops are very clear on the surface of the can but the bottom part did not focus well but still I need to increase my focal point f point so if I if I had increased my f stop number a little more further I could have got a clear picture so this is a picture which I got uh, when I used my shades you know the blue trash bag to get this background so this is the uh, this is the advantages of Lightroom we can edit this picture uh, like you can fine tune your background colors and everything and actually you are not making any major difference we are just doing some fine tuning some contrast adjustment 
some exposure adjustment this is one reason because i use lightroom which is very which helped me a lot most of the photographers use this lightroom it's a very good software to edit your pictures so most of the photographers use this software because it's a very good and you know fast software other than uh, nikon capture which i was using because that software was very slow you know you can crop your image you can make this image better and i'm not doing any other kind of because my iso was uh, uh, in 100 there is absolutely no noise in my picture and I have made some few adjustments which you can see make a lens correction that lens that I use I just selected it it's not a very big deal but you know the edges will be at you know somewhat a different it does not matter in this picture so this is what I have done basically I have not much uh, I have not edited anything other than you know fine adjusting some of the sharpness and the exposure and a little bit of color temperature because uh, the shade the blue shade was too much so I need to reduce so if you find it interesting and if you're interested in watching my future videos related to photography subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that in future whatever I update in my YouTube channel you will get a notification and if you're interested you can keep on watching and now I will export to a JPG file so that everyone can open and see and I'm going to take this picture to my desktop I'm going to use this as my desktop background so see how it happens so let's see how it looks in my desktop so here it is uh, thank you for watching my video and more experiments are on the way it's hard to breathe but that's alright